Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 1st, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Ether, where the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the uh, WTI oil. And as you can see, we have fallen quite uh, aggressively today. And we were basically down more than 2% and are trading underneath the 50 moving average at this current stage. Technically, guys, they are either bearish or are flat at this current stage. MACD is in negative territory at this point. The stochastic is crossing the signal line to the downside, indicating bull or bearish momentum. CCI is flat, but in negative territory. And then also the RSI is flat at this current stage. So we could see this market drop all the way down to 55 and below that if we look at for example the fibonacci retracement for this market here we can see that we won't find major support until we get down towards 54 and then probably to 50 and then all the way down to the 200 moving average here which is at 61.8 that's at 47 if we drop significantly to the downside so we will find a lot of support down here at the 57, which is the previous lows here and also the bottom of the Bollinger Band. If we rally from here, we'll most likely find resistance at the 20, up at the 60, and then the middle of the Bollinger Band at 62. If we break above here, which doesn't look very likely at this current stage, we'll head towards the very highs at 67. But at the moment, momentum is to the downside we're trading underneath the 50 moving average and we could see this drop significantly further to the downside so we of course saw this massive move before the oil tanker got basically stuck and not oil tanker but the boat got stuck in the suez canal and then we saw this rally so there's a lot of choppiness and now that um, that channel has been freed for for commercial use and now we're basically seeing things going back to probably what we would have seen if we didn't have that incident and that's basically a drop in the in the price of oil at this current stage so it looks like we're dropping finding um, resistance at the 20 exponential or the middle of the bullish band and now we're dropping even further break below here could see this drop significantly further to the downside so let's look at natural gas So natural gas, we did rally uh, towards the 20, 50 moving week average and then we broke down again quite aggressively and now we're trading just above the 200 moving week average again. So this is a really volatile market. It's basically going everywhere at this current stage. So 200 moving week average has been holding quite significantly. But if we were to make a massive move to the upside, we would probably would have made it right here. So this was a rally but it kind of failed miserably at this point. So usually in this time of year, you see, or basically after the winter months, you see um, basically a massive spike in the winter months when there's high demand for natural gas and then a gradual gr grind to the, the downside after those uh, that months are over. And uh, we have seen two of basically these spikes and then basically a a gradual grind to the downside and at this current stage 200 moving average is basically in the way of this dropping significantly further to the downside we can look at for example the fibonacci retracements for this market if we take the very bottom and the, and the highs we can see that we broke towards the first one here the second one is at 50 right here at 2.47 and then we have 61.8 here at 2.25 Break below here, that leads to over the door to 2, and then all the way down to 1.5. So that is to be seen, but at the moment, we basically need to break the 200 moving average in order to drop to those levels. And at this current stage, it is holding. Rally above the 20 exponential, over the door to the 50 at 2.7, and then all the way down up to 3, but that is very optimistic at this current stage. So let's look at copper. 
So copper is uh, looking really interesting. And uh, one of those reasons is that we haven't tested the 50 moving average all the way back here in basically the beginning of February. We saw this massive move to the upside and now we're just gradually grinding towards the 50 moving average. So in the past, 50 moving average has basically been there at uh, basically a, like a catapult to the upside for copper market we saw right here when we rallied to the upside we saw it also here when we rallied to the upside usually it stays here for around three four five uh, trading days before it makes its move so we are also running in I basically can draw it up here we have um, upper trend line and we have a lower trend line here was right there and we are most likely going to see this market trade in towards this corner before uh, either um, crossing to the upside and rallying towards this very highs or break below and into this um, uh, into this uh, corner and then to the downside we have the 50 moving average underneath if that breaks then this could drop significantly lower around 3.5 but at this current stage we are still in an uptrend and we are most likely going to see this go into this corner before we make a move to the upside or to the downside technical indicators they are all very bearish at this current stage so it is to be seen what basically happens 50 moving average has offered massive support in the past so um yes we're going to see what basically happens the 20 exponential is moving to the downside we could have a crossing of the 50 and the 20 uh, but we also saw that similar move right here when it just turned around and then we just went catalyst to the upside so let's look at gold which had a fairly good day today and uh, rallied towards the 20 exponential which also was fairly expected so we found a major sub and down here at the 1679 and then we are basically rallying towards the upside if you look at the Fibonacci retracement we got uh, fairly overstretched here and it was expected for this to pull back towards the middle of the bullish band which is at 1721 uh, and uh, we have done this before we've seen this here and we've seen it here and we've seen it yet again here and we're probably going to see it yet again here so if you manage to break above the 20 exponential that could open the door to the 50 up here at 1769 and uh, a break above that well then we could basically see this go significantly higher a break below these previous lows here at 1678 could open the door to 1600 it's down here and then towards 1500 so we are still in the downtrend we're just seeing uh uh, continuation of these moves towards the 20 exponential and all of those have basically been uh, broken down or sold into as soon as we basically get close to the 20 exponential technical indicators are turning around um, but when you have these uh, this massive candlestick they usually also do so let's look at silver So silver also has a, had rally today. We're still trending underneath the 200 moving average and uh, we'll mostly have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 moving average in the next few trading days. Um, technical indicators are turning around uh, mainly due to this uh, move to the upside but uh, rallies towards the 20 exponential will most likely be sold into as we have been seeing here. If gold falls then we will mostly see silver fall as well so target here if we get rejected from the 20 exponential probably drop towards a 2250 and then all, well significantly lower than that so let's look at platinum so platinum has rallied above the 20 and the 50 moving average and we're settling just at the, the 20 and the 50 moving average technical indicators they are either flat or or well basically all over the place at this current stage macd is flat stochastic is flat the cci is becoming bullish and the rsi is becoming bullish so it is um if we for example we have a upper trend line here which we have to break which we basically tested the day and then got rejected if we manage to break above this trend line then we will go higher towards the top of the bullish band at 12 
at 32. Uh, rejection from here could lead this towards the very the previous bottoms right here at give or take 11.22. So it is to be seen. We basically need to break this trend line in order to go higher. But today we have been rejected by the fourth time, right? One, two, three, four time. And so yes, it is not looking uh, very promising for platinum but if we manage to break above here then we could go towards uh, 1300 so let's look at platinum pallium so pallium continues to uh, grind to the upside we found major support down here at the 20 exponential which is a very encouraging sign which also is the previous highs from this uh, from this square that we were trading in for several months so pullbacks towards the 20 exponential are expected to be bought into rallies up towards the these 6 uh, 2.6 and then 2.7 will most likely also find major resistance at these current these points technical indicators are very are in bullish territory but they are becoming fairly flat at this current stage so this has been really volatile this massive move here that will would always cause uh, pullbacks and uh, we have seen quite a lot of volatility since this massive move to the upside so let's look at aluminium so aluminium has yet again rallied up towards the top of the bullish band and then broke it down all the way down towards the middle technical indicators are still extremely bearish for aluminium so break below the 20 exponential, which we are testing at this current stage, could open the door to the 50 down here at the 21.06. Uh, rallies from here could open the door towards the top of the bullish band yet again at 22.79. So the way this has been uh, trending the last um, month uh, is basically a uh, month or two, is basically rallying towards the top of the bullish band, broken down to the middle, rally, broken down, rally, broken down, rally. And so it has been really choppy. It has been gapping up, gapping down, and then had these massive moves to the upside and to the downside. So at this current stage, we are retesting the 20 exponential again, but we have done that numerous times in the last two months. So let's look at nickel. So nickel, yet again, we have tried to rally up towards the middle of the bullish band, but nothing is really happening here. The 200 moving average is offering support and the middle of the bullish band and the 220 exponential moving average are offering resistance. So we are going to see this move in this direction and this is going to move in this direction and there is going to be a crossing or so we'll have a, a rally to the upside or basically a breakdown uh, to the downside and, and uh, we are just yeah basically just trading sideways at this current stage and nothing and, and at some point we are going to see a massive move to the upside or downside so it's just a, basically a waiting game to basically see which way this is going technical indicators are favoring the downside at this current stage so well it's just a waiting game so let's look at sugar so sugar continues to drop we're trading at 0 0.1470 and we're just above the 200 moving average will probably be our uh, short-term target here and we'll most likely bounce from that point so when we get to the 200 moving average we'll probably bounce towards the 20 exponential which will most likely move in this direction uh, towards the 0 0.15 uh, area and the 200 moving average is at the 0 0.1418 at this current stage taking the indicators are very bearish at this point we have basically been in a massive downtrend ever since we basically broke through the top of the bullish band here and target will most likely be the 200 moving average down here so let's look at cotton so cotton has tried to rally so this is a fairly uh, bullish uh, candlestick here rallies towards the 20 exponential for example 0 0.8346 will most likely be sold into as they have been in basically the past technical indicators they are either flat or bearish at this point so rallies towards the 20 exponential will most likely be sold into and then we'll head back towards the 200 moving average will which most likely will be our target here so let's look at Kakoa. so Kakoa 
fell off our cliff yesterday and then we tried to rally a little bit and then we fell yet again. So it's not a very good sign for Kikoa. Taking in the are looking dreadful for uh, for Kikoa. So at this point, we're most likely going to head towards 2.234. Uh, uh, if that breaks, we could head all the way down to 2.084. Rallies from here will most likely find find resistant at the 200 moving average and also 20 exponential which is crossing the 200 moving average which is also a, a very bearish shine for for Kikoa. We will mostly also have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average and we haven't seen that crossing since all the way back here in September last year. So that is also an additional uh, bad sign for, for Kikoa. So let's look at wheat. So we had a massive rally today, it was up more than 4%, all the way up to the 20 exponential, and then just completely, uh, basically pulled back, uh, gave back most of those gains. So we fell towards the 200 moving average down here at the 593. So 600 was, so I said yesterday, it was like most likely where we'll find major uh, probably the bottom of this market, we fell a little bit more and then we rallied like crazy up towards the 20 exponential, up towards the 629, and now we're trading at 617. Technical indicators, they are, for example, the MACD is still bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is still bearish, uh, but it's becoming bullish, and then the RSI is um, showing signs of uh, bullishness as well. So, we may, because of this massive pullback and rejection at the 20 exponential, we'll probably just see more of the same. So, yes, it is uh, most likely going to be a lot of volatility uh, in this, uh, in for example, wheat in the next uh, few trading days. But 200 moving average will most likely offer quite a lot of support. And we can see that the 20 exponential, we got rejected here here, here, and also here. So that is offering quite a lot of resistance. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at eToro. So good luck and thank you very much.